Okay, welcome back. I've loaded up a cliff texture here and set the minimum slope on the texture painting brush to 50. I'm just going to blanket cover it with this now. This will give you a good idea of where the steep cliff areas are. But I still advise going into the game and checking it out, seeing which areas make your character slide and trying to get some rock texture on those to indicate to the player that those areas are difficult for them to climb. It's created quite a sharp line between the floor texture and the cliffs and you probably want to blend that a bit better later. I'm just going to choose some grass texture here, replace the grid pattern on the floor find a good one there's quite a lot of variety in this, this new editor but as you can see um, you only get four texture slots which is quite restrictive you have to do a lot of texture blending or object placement to make it look natural I tend to use the first slot for ground textures such as grass the second slot for cliff textures the third slot for some dirt which I use by the side of roads and under buildings and underwater and just just for general blending and the fourth slot is a kind of free slot I like to think of it which I tend to use for different stuff a lot of the time I, I use it for gravel alright so it's looking pretty good as you can see, some of the areas are obviously um, restrictive boundaries uh, and going to be difficult for you to climb. And it, it just helps visually to lay the level out for the player and let them know where they can and can't go, where the boundaries are, and stuff like that. So now I'm going to change up this um, cliff texture. Bear in mind that. If you're going to use object cliffs later, then you probably want to have the same texture on your terrain cliffs. Otherwise, it can look a little bit jarring. Cool, to see more, come back and check out the next video.